Welcome back. Uh, now that uh, we saw all the options that we have available with Minigo, let's get started by setting it up. Uh, first, it's important to understand how Minigo works. So as an admin, when you're logged in, you actually don't see Minigo, you see your website so, so that you can work on it. However, uh, the whole point of Minigo is that it goes on top of your website so that your visitors see the placeholder or the mini site, as, uh, as we call it, uh, in this case, Minigo. Uh, that is why we're using this preview button, so even when you're logged in, if you go to this URL, uh, then you'll be able to see what your users see. Now, let's quickly go through the Minigo mode. Uh, as you might have noticed, we have this notification on top saying Minigo is active. So let's turn it off and then go to another browser and uh, see what our customers see. So now they see our website. So Minigo is basically off. You don't need to turn it off from the plugins panel. Uh, then you can turn it on uh, or you can put it in maintenance mode, which essentially is the same as turning it on, only it sends 503 headers to search engines uh, so that uh, you don't, the new content is not indexed. So basically, if your site is down, you just put it in maintenance mode for an hour or two, do the work, and then put it put it back, uh, put it back online, and turn Minigo off. Now, a cool thing about Minigo is that uh, you can display it on your entire site, uh, on your front page only, uh, as well as a custom URL list. So uh, let's uh, let's see how this works. Uh, now, if I go to the to the main page, uh, I would see Minigo, but if I go to blog, I can actually see my blog. So, so that gives a bit of flexibility. Uh, and if I refresh and I set uh, Minigo to entire site, obviously Minigo will be displayed there as well. Uh, now, for more, more, more advanced users, or perhaps uh, if you want to do landing pages or make a resume and, and don't want to... Uh, mess you with your website, you can add uh, custom URL lists. Uh, so for instance, Minigo, if you, uh, if you enter landing pages, uh, then it will only show up uh, on that URL. And you can add multiple ones, of course. Um, so uh, at this point, if, uh, if we go to our main website, uh, then we'll see uh, the theme, whereas uh, in the subdomain where we set up Minigo, we'll see Minigo. It's pretty straightforward, I, I would say. So now let's uh, let's move on and uh, put put it back on uh, put it back on the entire site, and let, let's move on to uh, to skin selection. Now let's go to the menu and uh, click on skin selection. Uh, over here, you can load uh, one, of, one of the 16 bundle skins. Hopefully, we'll bundle a few more in the future. Uh, hover the thumbnails uh, to see a quick preview of uh, how the skin looks like. And uh, then, if you like one, just click on preview and it will open up uh, that actual skin in a new window, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, basically, you can, uh, you can test it out. And uh, as soon as uh, you find something that uh, that you'd like to uh, you'd like to import, let's say uh, a resume, perhaps, uh, then uh, you can import the entire skin. You click on load. Uh, you select yes to copy all the options, and uh, then it's going to take a while till the options take effect. It's going to confirm saying that the settings have been imported. You don't need to save. And uh, if you click on preview, uh, then you see your actual site is, uh, is that skin. Obviously not with uh, some of the images which are copyrighted. So uh, we use a demo gallery. Uh, in this case, the gallery is empty. So um, uh, we, we just put some placeholder images there till, uh, till uh, you add your own. Uh, typically, what I like to do is uh, use uh, one of the base skins. Uh, these are simpler, they're not styled, so uh, they're cleaner and uh, easier to work with once you're accustomed to, to the interface. Uh, this is the classic Minigo. This is the original uh, launch file. Um, so just a 3D menu and uh, two pages. Very simple, very basic, gets, gets the job done. 
but uh, for the purpose of this tutorial let's use the default version 3 skin uh, which is quite a bit heavier but uh, it will help us uh, go through more stuff one thing to note is that loading any demo will overwrite uh, all of your settings and content uh, so uh, use it uh, only when starting up that's it uh, for the setup next we'll look at some settings see you then